Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello hello and welcome back to yet another Faylog. I'm your host Madnek as always and this is my bearded vlog. This is the vlog and this is la beard. Oh man, my beard, my beard, my beard. I just love my beard. One second. Ah, there you go. My beard! <laughs> right, so Madnek, what the hell was that mood that you were talking about on Friday? I mean... Are you okay? Well, as you can see, I am. I'm actually extra smiling right now. Uh, the the weird mood that I had is because of the cats at my work. And, I mean, the mother cat and the three kittens. That I know that when they close down that place there, uh, I'm not sure what's going to be happening with those cats. And I don't know, I'm just, I just got attached to them at work. And I'm planning, hopefully, by the end of this coming week or by the end of the next, you know, by the end of the tonight, next two weeks or so, so to speak, I'll be having the cats home. And it will be four cats. From zero cats at all to four cats. It's going to be nuts in this house, probably. But I just decided I really have to get them here because I kind of want to, like, rescue them, so to speak. I don't know if, if you call it a rescue or not, but that that's my, my, my plan is. Now, the thing is, I I don't know how much more trust I can develop with them because, because cats, I mean, they, in the, in the last week, for example, right, they were literally eating out of my hand, okay, they're trusting me, they're playing with me, whatever, 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 but it's all in that contained area at that place at work, they have like this corner where we, we they play and they eat and whatever and, you know, etc, 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 they're asleep there, whatever, now, picking them up and putting them, I don't know, in a box or in a bag or in, I don't know what even, right, uh, I'm not pretty sure that the kittens will agree with nor the the mother cat so i'm not I, I don't know how it will work out and whatnot but i have decided uh kind of so to speak uh, because i have like a uh, like a side bag whatever which is quite wide from the size of it i can definitely fit in the three kittens in i'm not sure about the mother but three kittens can definitely fit in and because I work in a in a factory of electronics and whatnot, so the the all the tiny bugs and details, you know, and etc. etc. All the electronical stuff comes in boxes. It comes with lots of cushions and you know, so the stuff won't get ruined. So I can perhaps like pad the bag, like you know, put support from the bottom, from the sides, and you know, all the cushions and whatnot. So it will be comfortable for the kittens on the transfer. But I'm not sure how the mother will respond. No, I'm not sure how the kittens will respond. I mean, how do I get them in there? If I'll put them in there, let's say I did put the three kittens in, let's say. And then when I'm trying to close the bag, they'll probably jump out. Now what? You know, the best deal would be when they're sleeping to be really, really like, uh, okay, make it, you know slowly so don't, you don't wake him up because if you do wake him up they go crazy and you should see their freaking nails up yeah there you go like you can see uh don't ignore that birthmark on my finger where is it damn it with this camera you can see cuts in here you can see cut on my hand here and in here etc etc you know my leg my right leg they really love my right leg, so when I sit on the chair, they decide that it's like a, uh, I don't know, a climb post or something. So they just like jump from both sides and try to 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 get up the, uh, try to get up the leg. And my, my leg, I could sometimes I can barely walk because they they scratch so hard. I mean, their their nails is crazy, and they're just like three or four months old. So yeah, but. But we do develop some kind of some kind of a trust. 
I don't know, I've been talking five minutes about cats now. So, <laughs> this is the bearded vlog, talking about cats. But, uh, yeah, this, this was like the main reason why I was like out of sorts and, you know, I just, I just think that I must save them. I probably should bring him home, bring them home, but I don't know how, you know, and if I don't save them, I don't know what's gonna be with them. You know, and like when I do bring them, do you know anything about cats, Madnag? Yeah, sure, they eat milk. Yay, and they love fish, right? But except for that, what what the hell do you actually know about cats? So I need like to set my home for a specific corner with sand, you know, for their uh, business, whatever. And, you know, like fix a corner with lots of cushions and toys for the cats that they love to play, etc. I don't know what, right? But just my brain just like exploded like gazillion times about ideas and thoughts and whatnot. But yeah, that's that's uh, and from nowhere my my brain is like, wait a minute, Madek, what if you'll bring them? How will you call them? I mean, you cannot call cat one, cat two, cat three, right? Because as soon as you say cat, since they're cats, they see they hear cat and they think they're talking to them, so they'll probably come to to you because animals they get used to the names you give them. If you use them like long enough, like any human being, that if you call someone Madneck and you call him Madneck, 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 so the next time someone says Madneck, he thinks you're talking to him, so he'll respond. So that's about the same about cats, but you cannot say cat one, cat two, cat three, because cat. If you talk to cat one and you say cat one, the other two will come as well because they hear the word cat. So it's like an automatic response. It's uh, instinct of the animal uh, of any animal. Of any human being as well, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I mean, that's that's what been bothering me like crazy. Uh, well, now that we're done talking for about seven minutes now about cats, so yeah, I'm just looking at audacity how long I've been recording. But uh, <laughs> what uh, the hell is going on? Except for that, well, as you could see, another Guild Wars two was released before I got my my mind completely lost it. Not that I ever had it, but never mind. Uh, I'm going to record some uh, Theme Hospital because I'm completely out of recordings. As you can remember, I posted on my Facebook that Theme Hospital really crept over me the last recording. And I'm glad that I actually recorded 28 minutes, which is quite longer than I do with Theme Hospital. But at least I had it. Because I, I was thinking, maybe I should split it to two, but then it would be like 40-15 minutes every episode. And I don't like doing that. Because I love to be like bring a good chunk of uh, of entertainment for my viewers, which is you and my beard. Wait, I don't know. My beard probably watches videos when I go to sleep. My beard, beard's like, hmm, let's see what my dick posted. Whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I need to I need to finish up the voice acting for uh, Star Wars Absolution. As you can hear from my voice, my voice is just like uh, uh, lately. And I I cannot really do a Chewbacca voice with that with that kind of throat, but water is uh, boiling for the tea. As you can see, I have only water right now, which is sad. Oh man, but it's not really sad because some people out there in the world don't even have that water. So you know, you should always be thankful for what you have, guys. Always, you should always wish for more. But if you don't get more, just be thankful for what you have. And that's what the, the smart people told us ages and ages ago. Who is a rich person? Someone that has comfort in what he has. Not someone that has millions of millions of millions. So, yeah. But uh, it's like, uh, it's a little bit deep. It's a little bit philosophical, uh, etc. But, you know, a mad neck. I either have no brains or I have too much brains. It's There's nowhere in the middle. But uh, except for that, uh, Grim Hospital. What? <laughs> uh, Legend of Grim Rock, Grim Hospital. Wow, that should be the name of my hospital. I'm getting rich by white people while people are dying. That's the real Grim Hospital. But <laughs> Grim Rock uh, will be recorded as well. So expect expect those kind of videos. And I hope by the end of the week. Or during the week, we'll have uh, the Star Wars video as well. 
uh, Pure's run should be coming next week as well. I'm always saying should be, should be, should be because I always plan stuff and you know how real life and whatever just get in the way and sometimes it doesn't work. But I'm just preparing you for what you might expect. So be always on the lookout and if you don't follow me on Facebook yet, you should go and follow me on Facebook. The link is probably in the description as in it's any, any other video probably. And if you don't, then follow me on Twitter if you don't have Facebook, because anything I post on Facebook comes on Twitter, so you can get updated, uh, so you don't miss out stuff. Because I, I've been, someone sent me a message as soon as I, I, you know, came back, someone sent me a message, hey Madnik, do you have any new videos? I'm just like, yeah, I'm releasing usually on a daily basis any, any videos that I, uh, you know, usually on a daily basis. And I would just told them when you should, if you don't see them on YouTube, at least follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, etc., etc. And now he does follows me on on Facebook. So there you go, live report from from the scene, so to speak. It happened like ten minutes before I started recording the vlog, and but yeah, that's about it, guys. Not not too, too much of a content. Hopefully, we'll have some cat content. Hopefully. Uh, the plan is still working. Freaking hell! Again with this this hair is like I don't want to be part of the beard. Leave me alone. Get inside, you little bugger, you little hairy man. Hairy man, calling the hair a hairy man, right? You little hairy hair, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. I still have like a huge plan for this book and I've been talking about it to myself well think about it more more like it for like ages today and a few days ago as well and and it will be coming one day perhaps I hope <laughs> that's about it <laughs> except for that have a freaking awesome whatever is left of this weekend and an awesome week as well stay safe watch my videos be happy and stuff don't forget as always like the video this video any other video that I upload post a comment it takes just half a second to click that like button and it takes maybe five seconds to write something down whatever but some people don't have the time I have beard see you guys later I have eyebrows as well. I like my eyebrows, but not more than I like my beard. My beard definitely takes the cake and gets dirty, and I need to clean it later because of that cake that it took, which is uh, not as fun, but it can be. Beard. <laughs>